good morning dear friends hope all of you are fresh today and uh, we shall start uh, phenomenal woman by maya angelo the african american poetess okay and she was born on april 4 1928 and uh, expired on may 28 2014 okay and being an american poet she was a singer memoirist and uh, civil rights activist okay and uh, she had published seven autobiographies and three books of essays and some books of poetry and a few plays movies and television shows spanning over 50 years of years okay and uh, she is best known for her series of seven autobiographies which focus on her childhood and early adult experiences and uh, being a black woman she struggled a lot and fought a lot and stood on her own and set a model for the growing minds like you students okay and the first one of her autobiographies is i know why the caged bird sings published in the year 1969 okay and this tells of her life up to the age of 17 and uh, brought her international recognition and acclaim this autobiography okay and she became a poet and writer after a series of occupations like fry cook sex worker night club dancer performer cast member of uh, an opera that is a porgy bess and journalist in egypt and ghana she had tried her hand in all of these occupations and that is what gave her that confidence to stand on her foot and face the challenges there in the fight race okay and she was an actress also director and producer of plays movies and public television programs okay and as a civil rights activist she also had worked with martin luther king junior i think all of you know about martin luther king junior who uh, addressed the like minded people from the negro community negro culture and tried there to convince them his dream of becoming one in the american and uh, culture okay and she had worked with him and she became the forefront social uh, human rights activist at that time okay and with the publication of why i, I know why the caged bird sings angelo publicly addressed the aspects of her personal life personal life only she gave her that confidence to stand and face the challenges on her own along with uh, that martin luther king junior okay and she was respected as a spokesperson for the black people and women especially she was at the forefront and led the black women especially okay and her works have been considered defense of black culture means she defended black culture in the white culture that is the americans american culture okay and this phenomenal woman it is written out to all the women as i told in the beginning that it is an inspiration for the growing minds like you that it is uh, it is like a boosting to in you know, a develop or increase or to strengthen the individual uh, self esteem okay and the poem depicts here how a woman is seen in the society and what actually she is in the society okay and the poem clearly illustrates that no matter how a woman is she is always noticed uh, uh, in a crowd and femininity is the blessing in disguise for her this is what she felt that she was proud of herself being a woman this is number 1 and number 2 being the leader of uh, or the representative of the black culture and number 3 being uh, best orator and writer from her black culture in the white uh, area okay and being oneself and having the confidence to face the world no matter whatever the scenario may be or even in most challenging task she stood on her own and faced the challenges this is what is uh, best known about maya angelo being a black woman okay and she vividly reminds the strength and beauty of uh, women in this poem a phenomenal woman and uh, she radiates the energy she was always active even when she was grown and old then also she was very active and very lively and always charming there and that is what attracted people towards her and towards her speech and she fought only for to uh, to defend her black culture or negro culture there okay she radiates energy wisdom and belief in the mercies of the gender that is women that she belonged to 
okay and being human is indeed a blessing i told you as that is god's gift to nature to manage multiple tasks like being a woman to protect and to balance and to nurture see what all tasks she can she can manage in her life a woman so the strength of a woman holds that the strength a woman holds can in no way be measured and how she balances life and the situation that come in front of her which cannot be and can never be managed uh, measured okay and this poem helps to improve their self esteem the readers self esteem and confidence and make them more bold and beautiful young ladies this is what is believed after reading this poem phenomenal woman so being an african american she had faced immense racial discrimination so i think when i referred to this phenomenal woman and maya angelo as from negro culture or the black culture then we we have to understand that there was racial discrimination and if she had to fight against that then she had to defend the black culture or the negro culture there in america so she had faced immense racial discrimination but never left her hopes and faith in her tradition and community she never lost her faith she never never lost her temper but ever stood there strongly and boldly and faced the opposition there the racial discrimination okay over the years she gradually took up to writing after trying her hands in all those occupations i told earlier she started to writing and teaching acting and even film making she started okay and she has also served in on two presidential committee community committees there in america and she has received a uh, three grammy awards even though discriminated she proved to the world what she could do and where she could stand okay the ability the capability of this lady being uh, from the negro culture how bold she was and how strongly she stood there to face the racial discrimination in america so uh, when it comes to the poem uh, phenomenal woman it breaks uh, uh it is broken into uh, five stanzas and while there is some evidence of uh, rhyme but uh, she mostly uses uh, an unconventional rhyme scheme okay and she begins her poem with a couplet in the first two lines see the how what uh, words and what thought she brings in her first couplet that is pretty woman wonder where my secret lies first line and i am not cute or built to suit a fashion model's size look at the way she begins her uh, poem a phenomenal woman saying that the pretty woman wonders where her secret lies means the secret of being so lively so active and uh, so bold enough uh, to uh, stand and uh, face uh, or uh, ag- stand against uh, the uh defense of uh, that is uh, racial discrimination okay and begins uh, like this pretty woman wonder where my secret lies i am not cute or built to suit a fashion model's size so while her use of rhyme is sporadic and she does however repeatedly end her lines with words that end in yes that is that's me that's me that's me continuously she uses it throughout this poem okay and this adds the to the sultry that is sensual tone of the poem particularly when it is read aloud okay and she does not utilize much figurative language in the poem it is very casual and very natural and very uh, 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 common man's language she uses here in this poem okay and but effectively she uses a metaphor when comparing the men sooning around her as bees around a hive of honey she compass meant to the honey bees and just as bees are naturally drawn to that sweet substance men are just enchanted with angelo even though she defies all conventional beauty standards but then also they were attracted towards her so that, that's what she tells here in the throughout the poem that i am not cute or built to suit a fashion model's size she writes this com- com- comparison also highlights the primitive side to human sexuality okay and she relies heavily on repetition throughout her poem that's what i told ending the majority of her stanzas with that's me that's me i told earlier so in addition the phrase phenomenal woman is repeated throughout the course of the poem she calls herself as a phenomenal woman and stresses that again further in the end of the stanza each stanza saying that that's me that's me that's me okay 
and phenomenal woman is repeated throughout the course of the poem uh, once again emphasizing angelo's unconventional beauty unconventional beauty this is what we have to understand and appeal to the opposite sex this is very important structurally angelo breaks her poem into four major stanzas the two smaller uh, yet still significant stanzas in between so in the first stanza she bluntly tells her reader that other women wonder what she has that they are missing even though she lacks the traits that society most often judges to be beautiful she doesn't have such any of such qualities because of her color the the race okay and she understands that the other women are jealous of angelo she feels okay and she writes they think i am telling lie she continues on telling that the reader her appeal lies in her arms hips and lips she how openly she uh, shares her thoughts here publicly after publishing her um, autobiography i know uh, why the caged bird sings okay and uh, her constant use of the word phenomenal is twofold here in this poem okay further we will discuss in the next class thank you